Hello guys, I'm Rick from 360 Vlogger, and today I'll be discussing the Samsung Gear 360 camera. With the US release date still unknown at the time of this video, it is being sold in its home territory of South Korea for a price tag of around 340 USD. With dimensions similar to that of a baseball, only slightly smaller, the Gear 360 uses two 15 megapixel cameras, each capturing an amazing 180 degrees of still or video images which can then be stitched together with the Gear 360 Manager app or the included Action Director video editing software. The camera has a record button, as seen, directly on top of the unit and can function entirely independent of the Gear 360 Manager app. When bundled with the Gear VR goggles, the Samsung Note 5, Galaxy S6, S7, or S7 Edge, some pretty amazing content can be created. The camera is powered by a rechargeable 1350 milliamp lithium ion battery that provides significantly increased run times over my GoPro Hero 3 Black. Also bundled with the unit is your standard microfiber cloth used to clean the two large glass 2.0 aperture lenses that are particularly prone to fingerprints due to the amount of real estate that they take up. It's almost impossible not to touch them while handling the camera. I hope to see some kind of rubberized case made in the near future. There is an included soft pouch, which is well made and can be used to cover or carry the 360, but would offer very little protection if the unit was dropped. A wrist strap, which I found difficult to connect, is also included, and I would highly recommend using it if carrying the camera by its included tripod slash handle, as its shape makes it feel as if it almost wants to leap from your hands to the ground below. Next, we find the product key for the aforementioned Action Director software. I found this software to be extremely buggy and difficult to work with, especially after using programs such as Sony Vegas and Final Cut Pro. Keep this product key in a safe place because you will be charged for a replacement. On the side of the unit is a sealed water-resistant door that opens to reveal the battery compartment, a micro SD card slot, and a micro USB port for charging or data transfer. To begin operating the camera, insert the battery and micro SD card and securely close the door. Note one of the stereo microphones positioned between the door seam and the border of the lens. To power on the unit, hold down the power slash back button for two seconds and an audible tone will sound and the screen will display the remaining recording time, which is dependent on the selected resolution and quality, the shooting mode and the remaining battery power. The menu button allows for cycling between shooting modes, which include photo, time lapse with selectable intervals, video looping, a settings menu, and of course video. Once powered on, connecting to the camera is very simple via the Gear 360 Manager app on your phone either by tapping on the camera icon or the connect option in the upper right corner. You can verify the connection by looking for the Bluetooth icon on the camera screen. Once connected to the app, you have two folders, one labeled Mole Device and the other Gear 360. When recording, footage is stored on the SD card and will be seen under the Gear 360 folder. By pressing the Save button located on the bottom of the app, files will be transferred to the mobile device folder via Wi-Fi Direct. When saved, the files are stitched together automatically and are then able to be viewed on the device or with your Gear VR goggles by pressing View on Gear VR. Footage can also be shared by pressing the Share icon in the app. At this time, Facebook and YouTube both support 360 and VR content as long as the required metadata is included in the file, which the app does for you. I have had issues with some people not being able to view my shared content properly, but this can be remedied by updating their YouTube or Facebook apps to the latest versions. When in live view on the device, you can press the button just above the shutter button to switch between panoramic, 360 view, or dual view. You can also choose your lens options by pressing the icon just below the shutter button. Switching from dual, single lens front, and single lens rear modes. By pressing the mode button below that, you can choose to shoot video, photos, time lapse, or looping video. Once a mode is selected, you can go into the settings for the given mode and change various settings such as ISO, sharpness, location tags, sound, and LED function, as well as whether or not to have the Gear 360 logo displayed at the bottom of the recorded footage. It would be nice to see the option to display a custom logo. I personally use the logo as I find it useful for hiding the tripod from the scene. The paper user's manual that is included in the South Korean version of the Gear 360 does not have any instructions in English. Luckily, you can access the English version through the Gear 360 app under the settings menu as well. Once you exit the settings menu, you can move up or over depending on the phone position. 
and choose your desired resolution which ranges from almost 4K for video to an impressive 30 megapixels for 360 degree still images. While the Gear 360's 4K video resolution is class leading at this time, I believe that there is room for improvement on future models due to the fact that 4K spread over a 360 degree image is really not sufficient to give a crisp, clear picture. While not the only VR camera available, the Gear 360 offers the highest video resolution at 4K and the most megapixels at 30 for its price point, and I do believe it is one to consider if you're getting into the VR, filmmaking, or just want to have some fun with the next big evolution in photography. As stated earlier, due to the included tripod short length and shape, when it is held in the average size hand, it has the tendency to want to slip out. I did come up with somewhat of a solution using the piece of included foam that is used to hold the Gear 360 in its box. Simply remove this foam cylinder from the box and slip it over the tripod and you will now have a much more secure handle to hold on to. I do recommend getting a longer tripod or selfie stick as your hand will appear in your recorded content otherwise. The Gear 360 uses a standard quarter inch threaded tripod mount. Again, I'm Rick from 360 Vlogger and I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please like and leave a comment down below. Also, please hit that subscribe button to help me out and stay informed about my latest videos. Thanks for watching.